Hi guys! I've been wanting to film this video since around maybe 2018 or 2019 but I never got around to doing it until now. Before I start the video, I just want to put out a disclaimer saying that I'm not a professional piercer, I'm not a doctor or a nurse or anything like that. I'm just a girl from Manila who wants to share her ear piercing journey hoping that my experience here in the Philippines at least would help you guys in your journey and I'm hoping that you guys will learn something from it as well. So this is gonna be a series of around four videos because I have around 15 or 16 piercings right now so I can't just put it all in one video because I'll be going into detail with those piercings like what went wrong, how it was done, the pain level, and the current state of my piercing right now so I'll be going into detail with that. One of the main reasons why I wanted to make this video is because around 2014 or 2015 that's when I started getting more ear piercings such as my industrial, my tragus, and my double helix. Before getting my piercings, I would always make sure to do some research online. So I would watch YouTube videos, go on Instagram, go on Google. That's how I would know if I would get it or not. But the thing is, a lot of these people who share these experiences are from the US. I would research on YouTube about piercing bumps like on my conch, for example. Some of their tips would help, but I was always so frustrated because the products they would use weren't offered here in the Philippines. I was always just stuck with sea salt and warm water instead of getting those H2 Ocean bottles or the Neil Med piercing aftercare solution. Yeah, that wasn't available here before. But I'm so happy to know that a lot of more places here are actually selling those products. And there's more variety when it comes to jewelry now because before it was just really limited or hard to find. So it's nice to know that there are a lot of places here now selling those things so that it's easier for us Filipinos to get piercings. I'll be giving some tips and recommendations. I'll be talking about most of the things I wish I had information on back when I got my piercings. I'll be going through my piercings in the order that I got them. I'll be talking about my earlobe piercings, my belly piercing, helix piercing, and my tragus piercing. Throughout the series, I'll be sharing photos and videos as well because I was actually able to document most of my ear piercings. I don't know why I like to record, but I do have those clips and I do have photos of when my ear got infected, it got piercing bombs and whatnot, so you'll be seeing that. I currently have six piercings on my earlobe. I got my first ear piercing when I was 10 years old. Sadly, my ears weren't pierced when I was a baby, so I had to go through that when I was 10 years old. I used to wear those magnetic earrings or stickers because I didn't have holes in my ears, so I would just like fake it until one day I took a nap and then I had a dream that I had earrings. And then I remember thinking like, oh my god, like, it looks so good on me. I rushed to my mom's room, I went to her dresser, I put up this um, hoop earring near my ear and I was just like, oh my god, like it looks so nice. And then I woke up my mom and then I said, I want to get my ears pierced today. So after a few hours, we went through I think Greenbelt and then we went through I think Silver works. I was so nervous. I kept asking my mom, does it hurt? Was it a talaga? Ano ba feeling? And she goes, it feels like an ant bit you. I kept practicing on my hand. Like I kept pinching my hand like as hard as I could just to prepare myself mentally for it because I was really scared. But then she brought up the gun and she pierced both of my earlobes and I was like, oh, okay, that wasn't bad at all. So I would rate it one or two out of 10. I got that when I was 10. I got my second piercing when I was 13. And then my third piercing when I was 14. Thankfully, I've never had any issues with my earlobes piercings. I never had to do anything with it. I remember the girl just told me to put alcohol and clean it, which is actually like really bad for you. One of the issues I did have with my earlobe piercings, and I only realized it this week, my piercings here were done right. They're spaced correctly. But on this ear, the third piercing was placed too close on my second piercing. And it really bothers me. 
it's not like I can do anything about it now. So sometimes I wish that I was a little bit older when I got my piercings, but it's fine. I can't do anything about it now. But other than that, everything is fine. I got my ears pierced with a piercing gun. I didn't have issues, thank God. But now that I'm older, I know better, so I stay away from guns. Piercing guns are not good for your ears. You get a helix piercing done with a piercing gun, there's a possibility that your cartilage will shatter if not done right. You go somewhere and they want to pierce you with a piercing gun, leave, run away, look for another place. There are places in Manila that can do a good job with it and you don't have to risk losing your ear for it. So. <laughs> It's my first and last body piercing. I got a belly piercing when I was 16 years old. I got it done in Makati. I had a video of it, but for some reason, I can't find it anymore. I remember really doing my research on belly piercing just because it can get infected so easily. So I really had to make sure that I wanted it and that I was willing to take care of it. I was so scared. I'm really so scared of needles and I don't really think that my tolerance for pain is high. I'd like to think that it's very, very low. <laughs> like for physical pain, like I can only take so much. Like I'm such a baby when it comes to it. But when I got my belly piercing done, it wasn't even the needle that hurt. What hurts is actually the clamping part. Like when they clamp your skin and then put in the needle. The clamping part was the painful part for me. But other than that, I had no problems with that experience. Like I felt like it was done well. However, I remember leaving the place and I was really sore. Like I couldn't put my seatbelt on, I couldn't lay down on my bed, I couldn't move properly. When you get your piercing done, wear loose clothing, avoid any activities for the next two weeks. Just keep the area really clean and clean it properly. Don't move the piercing up and down. The downside of my piercing is that I was so careful of it at the same time, I was very makulet with my hands. So I would play with my jewelry, I'd put it up and down, I'd remove it when it wasn't fully healed yet, and then put it back in. And then one day, I remember putting the piercing back. For some reason, on the top part of my stomach, it made two holes. And I freaked out. I had to choose like which hole would scar less. It healed up, but it's just, I feel like it's not as straight as it used to be, but it's fine. Like, the, the scar is not really noticeable because of the ball covering it. So that's my only issue with my belly piercing. Don't play around with it. I would rate my belly piercing pain-wise 4 or 5 out of 10. But really, it depends on the person. My best friend just got her belly pierced a few weeks ago and she really didn't feel anything. So it really it really varies, you know, it really it's different for everyone, but that was my experience with it. The current state of my belly piercing, I have no issues with it. It's fully healed. I still wear my belly ring. There was a time that I didn't wear my belly ring and then I tried to put a belly ring again and it was kind of painful, so I just didn't remove it anymore after that. My helix piercings. I started really getting into piercings once I started studying in Benil. I studied there for a semester. I was so bored in my classes. Like I remember during math class, I would just tell my friend like, Hey, give me like 20 minutes. I'll just go to this um, tattoo shop and get a piercing. And then just come back with like three new piercings in my ear. So I was very um, spontaneous about it before and impulsive. But with my helix piercings, I actually have three. I have two here on top and then one here. But I let that closed up because of an issue that I will get into later. Um, I got this one, the one here in the middle, you can't see it anymore, and this second one in Taft, but I got the third one somewhere in Makati after a few years. We'll insert a video of when I got it done in Taft. Welcome to the club! That's it! Hey, it's bleeding! <laughs> 
My experience with my Helix piercing. This one was done correctly. It healed properly. I had no issues with it other than the fact that it was super annoying because it's an area of your ear where your hair could get stuck. No pwede siya sumabit and nakaka-irita siya and masakit and then sleeping is just also very uncomfortable at first but after a while maybe a week or two the pick subsides. My helix piercings are both fine. It's really this one. This piercing, because you know how this part is cartilage? The guy didn't pierce this part. I expected him to pierce like the cartilage, but no. What he did was, you know how there's like a thin area of skin around your ear, which is this, like it's just skin? He pierced that part. So, when I put an earring on, tabingi siya. Like, weird and it's annoying. And there's a weird bump on it now that won't go away unless I get like steroid injections again so that it would flatten. But that's why I stopped wearing it. The pain level of my Helix piercings would be around 3 out of 10. At first, it was super painful, but when I got my third one done after a few years, I was completely shocked because I didn't feel anything. Yep. It's in the. It's yep. It's in the bag. Pero sa mas sakit ng una ang first time kung pinagawa. That's yep. Oh my god, there's blood. No, it's normal. Oh my god, that was so painless. Current state of my helix piercings is that they're completely healed. I have no issues with it. I mean, it's fine. I really can't do anything about it, and I. Not super obvious naman. Those are my Helix piercings and I love them. This piercing. Wow. Okay. My trachus piercing. I got this done in Taft. It was 2016. I got it done somewhere in Taft. I was supposed to get it originally in this one place that was highly recommended. But then it was closed, so I had to go to this one across. I remember calling up my friend in Benil and saying, Hey, can you come with me please? I need someone to hold my hand. Because I was so scared because, you know, trachus piercings... Like, if you touch this part of your ear, like, it's very hard. So it's kind of... You think that it's super painful. So I just needed moral support as always. Whenever I get a piercing done, I always have someone with me just because I need someone to hold my hand. I got my first trichus piercing done here. I will include some photos and videos. Oh my god, this is so random. Can you tell me what to do? Wait, don't you usually mark it first? Yeah, it's like that. Oh, but then mark mo, please. <laughs> Wait, no, push, push. <laughs> Can you mark it? Oh my god. How is it? Stay still. Oh, that is so cool. Like, These ears matter. are so red. <laughs> Not really. Whoa! It's done? Are you... <laughs> I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't know any better. I told the guy that I wanted the Trago's piercing. I explained to him everything and then he goes, Okay, I can do that piercing for you. I sat down and then he pierced my ear and he pierced it around like here. Like it wasn't in the center. But he pierced it and then I was like, Oh my god, like yay! <laughs> it felt it wasn't 
painful. There was just a lot of pressure in my ear. And then finally when he finished, he put the earring and I left. The piercing was around like 250 pesos. It was too good to be true and there's a reason why. Back to my classroom and like admiring my piercing and I started touching it already which is really bad. But I started to notice like why is it just pointy? Like, there was no backing to stop it. Like if I pushed it out from the back, it would come off. So I was curious as to why it was like that. After a few days, I noticed that my ear was still bleeding. It looked like the skin was getting really thin. I was really nervous that the skin would just rip off. So I had to remove that piercing. The next day, I went to the original place that I go to in Taft for my piercings. And oh my god, the first guy who pierced my tragos. You know the jewelry that they would use for your nose piercings? That's what he used and that's why it was falling off. I've gone through so many different tattoo parlors here in the Philippines and it's just always been disappointing, especially like my first few piercings. Always do your research and where you're getting it done. Make sure that piercer has a license, is credited to do it, is sanitized, they have the right jewelry, is knowledgeable. Just remember, it's not worth it if it's not done right, so do your research. So that was my first Tragos piercing experience. It's gone now. Thankfully, it didn't leave a scar or anything. I was really sad because I love that piercing and I was just so sad that it wasn't done right. Feel free to message me on Instagram if you have any more questions about ear piercings, like where to get it, where to get jewelry. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. Stay tuned for my next video where I'll be talking about my Rook, Conch, Forward Helix, and Industrial Piercing. I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye!